<laughs> Hi. Um, I'm laughing at my my horns. <laughs> They're not horns. <laughs> Reindeer. <laughs> I'm being silly. Oh, you know, sometimes you just got to laugh, guys. Sometimes you just have to laugh. You know, um, really, sometimes you need to take a minute and just stop. And even the silliest thing, this, it's cool, it's funny, but I can laugh, I can laugh. It's not really laughing at myself. It's just good to laugh, guys, the joy. But um, I've been struggling with the, the breathing and so forth. Off and on, it comes and goes. Uh, and then having the ablation for the heart, that was a, you know, I've done that before, so here, it's okay. It's not the, it's not like a really tough procedure, it is on your heart, but it's not like a, something that you're going to die from. It rarely happens, how about that? But, uh, back to the thought, you know, there is no Bible verse today, it's just a small lesson, and... <laughs> Number one, because I'm kind of really tired out emotionally, mentally. It's been like an up and down. <laughs> We're in Denny's and uh, the other day, and then today, Herman and I went to Denny's and I saw these salt shakers. It's gonna sound funny. I saw these salt shakers on the table, and I thought automatically of my dad. Automatically. I thought, I can't call him. I can't tell him. Hey, Dan. Those soap shakers we had on the table in the kitchen forever since I was little are gone. Or I saw him in Denny's. I can't do that, you know, because he's gone. So, yeah, so I'm a little up and down. And then I just ordered his memorial blanket. And um, that part of me struggling. But... It's the way we are. It's flesh. You know, and I called. I remember having problems. <clears throat> Life lessons. We've had some problems with the mail situation. And I called, and I ended up crying on the phone with the damn post office. And I'm thinking to myself, see, these are lessons. This is how people come out, and this is how Christ comes in. Okay? I'm on the phone. I'm frustrated. I'm overwhelmed. I've got... Two paychecks sitting in a somewhere floating in the postal service, and I'm hot and I'm bothered and I'm upset and I'm trying to help for my friend's memorial that passed, trying to do the right thing and give give somebody else something because many have helped us, and I can't access the money because the checks are floating, and by this time I'm thinking this is ah, you know the, the in Spanish Guadal has the anger and. And the lady says, relax, you know, and I says, no, you just don't understand. On top of all this, I'm I'm fighting an illness, and it's been really tough, and I'm going on and on, and she says, oh, sweetie. And I said, but you know what, I'm not going to let this bother me, and I said this, and I said, <laughs> give me a minute, and I sat there on the phone with the post office lady. This is somebody I don't even know. So here it is. Somebody don't even know. And I said, but God's got my back, and she said, you're darn right. She said, sweetheart. Even in moments like this. And at that moment, I knew there was another Christian on the phone. Another person that knew God on the phone. And we didn't know each other. And at the end, I remember she heard me crying and she said, you know what my sister always tells me? She said, Jesus flipped a few tables here and there. Means he was pissed. He might not have showed it, but he's flipped a few tables. And I, went, <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh and wipe the tears and... You know, God will bring people to you. This is my other, this is one of my lessons. He will bring them to you, whether it be through PG&E, uh, whatever, uh, Southern Pacific, whatever, whatever your bill paying situation is, if you're calling somebody, it doesn't matter. But God will bring them to you somehow through a stranger. Through a stranger, people. You know, and the other thing. So don't disregard when you talk to somebody and they're listening and they're talking back to you, no matter who it is. Because God works in mysterious ways. That day I needed that so bad. <clears throat> he just turned the truck on while I'm trying to talk. 
Oh, uh, anyway, he saw me too. Anyway, God does work in mysterious ways. And I want you to know something else. <laughs> you know that yesterday, like I said, here's another life story. I'm feeling bad, I'm not feeling good, but I hope these kind of things relate to you. Because it's that time of year that pressure's on for Christmas gifts which people really don't get the real meaning of Christmas. It's Christmas, the day he was born. That's what it's about. But anyway, the pressure's on in this world. The flesh is on. You are flesh. You are flesh off the first get-go, touching your skin. Remember that. And remember, it's in God's time. As sick as I was feeling yesterday, I said, Lord, I got to get right with you. You see, do you really even know if you're right with God? I mean, you say you are, you go to church, and you're, I mean, are we dotting all, the, dotting all the I's and crossing all the T's with God? Are we? This is the real question, people. Are we, are we doing everything in our power? Or do we just, I believe I am, I go to church, I pay my tithes, I, I help others, I do this. But does that guarantee your entrance? Are you sure that if today he came, are you sure that you are going to the most beautiful place on earth? It ain't on earth, that's the whole point. To the new journey, to the real world. Are you ready? Are you sure? Have you crossed every T, dotted every I, put a period after every statement? Have you done that with God? How certain today are you? Lord, it's the question you better ask God. And ask yourself, because only God knows, and only you know in that beautiful heart of yours. Oops, right there. So, the question again, people. Are you sure that every T is crossed, every I is dotted, and every period exclamation in God's level is, is there? Nothing's missed. The tiniest thing can keep you from entering into glory. The tiniest thing, people. And it is in his time. Could be today, could be tomorrow. Don't borrow from tomorrow. You know that saying. Anyway, may the good Lord save you. God bless. Gotta go.